What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey and today we are prepping and packing and just getting ready for my month-long trip to Europe. I leave in five days and I have not done anything so today we are spending the whole day together and I'm going to be doing everything that I've been meaning to do that I haven't done. Starting off with nails. These might be the most horrendous looking nails I've ever had. They are so 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 grown out. I've had these for I think an entire month and this one particularly I've, I've been in a little tussle with for the last two weeks. I basically cracked it in half right here and instead of going and getting them done right away which I could not do because I wanted to wait till like the very last minute before I leave for my trip because I'm gonna be gone for an entire month and I'm not gonna be able to get them done so I wanted to wait until like right before I leave. So basically what I did is I have like at home like dip powder SNS powder and I just did it over top of like the SNS that was already on my nails. It worked pretty well for keeping it all intact so like my actual nail didn't crack in half but it just looks horrendous I painted it white so it wasn't as obvious but it is obvious and like look how thick it is this is literally the most terrifying thing I have ever seen in my entire life look at this like what absolutely not okay guys I'm home from the nail salon my nails are absolutely gorgeous she slayed the house down on them I got chrome again I know I just had chrome but I'm too obsessed with the chrome not to get it again and I just I had to before I get into my next little task that I want to complete which is putting away my laundry that I did this morning I want to kind of get ready a little bit and do something with my face because I'm not feeling the best and I didn't have time to do like skincare or makeup this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and do some of that and then we're going to put my laundry away. Ew. Okay, the first load of laundry is put away. We've got that done and I'm running to Kohl's and Walgreens right now. I have a prescription I need to pick up and then I want to get black tights from Kohl's because I need black tights because I don't know where mine went. Let's get it. Okay, I walked over to like the intimates because I feel like that's where the tights would be. Um, I don't think that's what I need. I've looked kind of all over this area and I can't find them. I can find like everything else. Underwear, bras, spanks, everything. Socks. Okay, I left Kohl's kind of unsuccessfully. I couldn't find tights. Apparently, Kohl's likes to lie to my face. I'll look up black tights in store near me and then the town that I live in. It'll say the location so it like is in the right zip code or whatever. You know, we'll list all of these tights that are at Kohl's and Kohl's doesn't even have the tights. Screw Kohl's. But I did find this little trio of gold hoop earrings. I'm such a gold hoop girl. Anytime I find cute ones, I get them, especially when they're inexpensive. These ended up being like $8 for three pairs and from my experience, Kohl's jewelry, I mean, it's not the highest. Why am I saying jewelry? Jewelry. Kohl's jewelry, jewelry <laughs> isn't the highest quality jewelry. It lasts and it like is better than, you know, a lot of the other stuff that I buy. So I just pulled up to Walgreens. I checked out the drive-thru and there's like eight cars in there. So I'm hoping that there's less people inside, but there's probably not going to be because the whole parking lot is packed. All right, actually, this Walgreens. I need to get my prescription sent to the other Walgreens because this Walgreens is only so busy. But I walked in there, walked over by the pharmacy, and there was literally like 30 people in line. Like, look at this picture I took. There's so many people. So I was not waiting in that line. Oh, God. Okay, guys, so this is all of my, like, fall and winter jackets that I had put away for the summertime. And I thought right now would be a good time to get them all back out just so I can figure out which jackets I want to bring to Europe. I also have some sweaters. Okay, I think I was literally being delusional thinking that I could legitimately start packing tonight. I know this is so horrible, but those are all clothes that I just bought. Not only for Europe, but also for fall, but a lot of it, you know, a lot of the fall stuff crosses over to stuff that I want to bring to Europe. I want to wash all this before I wear it, so I need to wash all this tonight. Basically, what I think needs to happen is I need to take the time to wash all of this. It'll be two separate loads, like the whites and lights and then the darks. So I'm going to wash all this tonight and then I'm going to hang everything and kind of start putting outfits together planning pieces that look good together tomorrow I will be back and I can show you the outfits that I plan and we can actually start throwing stuff in the suitcase and actually packing so I will see you guys first thing in the morning bye bye hello it's the next day it's not bright and early like i promise it's actually after 3 p.m i woke up at noon because i was up till 4 a.m editing 
but I will say for the last couple of hours I have gone through all of my clothes I tried on everything this is one of my newest biggest tips for packing for any sort of trip so basically what you do is you take pictures in all of your outfit combinations and then you can hold down on yourself in the picture and then you can copy that to your notes and you can make an entire basically catalog of all the outfits that you have for the trip so instead of getting to your destination and having no idea what to wear you can just look through your little catalog in your notes and you can see all of the outfits that you have in your suitcase so I just spent the last literally two hours doing that um, and now I think I'm ready to actually start packing however I'm not gonna start with clothes I'm going to be starting with toiletries maybe makeup I might wait to do makeup because I still don't leave for a few days it's currently Thursday and I leave on Monday and obviously I'm gonna be using my makeup in between then so I might put makeup off and just like not include it in this video but we are gonna do toiletries I went to Target two days ago with my brother so that we could pick out some toiletries that we would need. Let's go to Target. <laughs> okay guys, we're over by like the toiletry, like little makeup product stuff. They are out of the shampoo version of this like Kristen S. And that's the one I wanted. So I don't know what to do now. I'm gonna walk over here and see. <laughs> so cool. I love tongue cleaners. The disposable one is kind of crazy though. Like you're just gonna throw it away every single day. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty wasteful. Oh, I love these toothbrushes. You touched it last, now you're the one responsible for putting it there. It looks like a cat's tongue, you see that? Mm -hmm. So that was super fun. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a haul of the things that I got and then I'm going to go into my bathroom and grab all of the other stuff that I'm planning on bringing. I got two like big shampoo and conditioners because I didn't like any of the travel size ones that they had. But I will say I'm gonna be there for a whole month and it's me and Noah. So what if we just bring both of these and we just share? So I might bring this whole thing. Otherwise, I did buy little travel size containers to put the shampoo and conditioner in. But like this is not gonna last me a month. You know what I mean? A mini Fiji deodorant. I got two mini tubes of Aquaphor because I'm such an Aquaphor girly, but I currently am using like this big tub of Aquaphor and I can't bring that. I got two new toothbrushes because I've been needing to restock and then I also got a new travel toothbrush holder thing. Moving on, I got an Olay body wash and once again, hopefully this is enough. Probably won't be and then we're gonna have to buy more. I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I also got a mini Cetaphil facial cleanser. I just grabbed some of the stuff from my bathroom. I'm just I'm just gonna bring a pack of makeup wipes because I don't have time for my cellar water and then I'm bringing some dry shampoo I have this little hair oil thing and I'm going to fill it the rest of the way up with like a different hair oil that I like and just use this as like my hair treatment mouthwash a little tube of lotion just for like putting on my legs and stuff after I shower and that is everything so far Noah has our toothpaste we just got one big tube that we're gonna bring and he's got some other stuff like wrinkle spray I don't know what else he got. Fun fact about me is I always pack my toiletries in like this ginormous bag and it's always filled all the way up but that's because I bring like full size stuff a lot of the times and I just can't do that in this case. So I'm gonna try to fit all my toiletries in this little bag right here. Mouthwash, dry shampoo. Maybe I could put like my toothbrush at the bottom. And then body wash, deodorant, <laughs> face wash. There definitely is quite a bit of room in here. So if I decide to go this route, these will easily fit or the big route. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Noah before I make any final decisions. And also you guys, you know me, like I'm going to finish packing or whatever, maybe today in this video. And then I'm going to continue going through my suitcase, taking things out, putting things in literally up until 30 minutes before I leave for the airport. So everything is subject to change, but so far, this is what it's looking like. Oh, I need to put my lotion in here as well. Oh, it's a little, it's a little tall. If you guys know me, I cannot live without this Lanza trauma treatment leave-in conditioner. So instead of, I think I'm just gonna bring the big shampoo and conditioner and I'm gonna use this little travel size thing that I bought to put some of this conditioner in, leave-in conditioner. I shouldn't need that much, but I need some of this, bro. Like my hair, it lives on this. So we're putting her in here and then I'm gonna take my Moroccan oil and I'm going to put my Lanza oil in here. Hopefully this doesn't f with it. They're both hair oils, so I assume that they're gonna like be fine. I just filled it up to like right there. I just need some hair oil. I have my razor, but I'm not gonna throw it in yet because I'm definitely going to use this before I go, so I need to leave this out, but I will pack it. All right, so there's everything so far.
All right, I have grabbed my little box of packing cubes. Well, it's not all packing cubes. There's some other stuff at the bottom, but I have my packing cubes in here. And we're gonna start with the easy stuff like socks and bras and underwear. And then we're gonna slowly move into the more challenging parts. I have two different size options for socks, underwear, and bras. I usually go with this one, just I don't know why. It feels like it fits my bras better. Okay, we may have a tiny problem. I kind of underestimated the amount of like undergarments I'm gonna have to bring. There's two places for sure that we're staying that have a washer and dryer, but I don't know how like the hotels work over there. Obviously there's like laundry mats, but I don't know how often we're gonna be able to like do the laundry and it's very important to have like clean underwear for every day so I'm bringing a lot there's no way this is all gonna fit in here but maybe just because my underwear is so like small this is all about strategy yeah I just spent that whole time trying to fit all my socks in there and then I realized the biggest life hack when it comes to packing is putting your socks in your shoes in the suitcase so that's what I'm gonna do so this is just gonna be underwear so maybe then I could use that one. Oh my god there's plenty of room in here honestly extra okay now we're moving on to like pajamas and like comfy sleep stuff I'm packing it all in this bag this is the one I was gonna put my bras and underwear in so this is very small but we're gonna make it work All right, there we have that. She is bursting at the seams, but I think I'll be able to get it zipped. Whew. It was a little bit of a struggle, but she's all in there. Okay, if you guys can see right there, that is the pile of sweatpants and sweatshirts I just pulled out. Obviously, I'm not bringing all that because that would take up my entire suitcase. But I will say, I might wait to do this because me and Noel want to go to the mall tomorrow. And I know it's stupid to like pack and then go to the mall. But I might skip this whole step and just, you know, hope tomorrow that I find two solid neutral colored sweat sets. It might be hard because I'm so particular about my sweatpants and my sweatshirts. But I feel like that's better because I don't have cute sweat sets like all the girlies do. I just have a bunch of Mitch match like sweatpants and sweatshirts and I grabbed like all pretty neutral colors but none of them actually go together and I feel like it'd be way better to get two matching sets because then I can interchange the sweatpants with like shirts if I want to like actually wear sweatpants like if I'm going on like a train ride or something and I don't want to dress cute or like when you get like a solid crew neck like this you can make a cute outfit out of it but I wish that I had like matching brown sweatpants with this you know what I mean? Okay here is how my rack turned out and this was after um removing things i'm gonna start with pants because i actually did really good with bottoms and i feel like i don't have that many pairs as i take like 17 pairs off of the rack so i sorted it all really nicely we have tank tops and little t-shirts long sleeves sweaters button-ups and then dresses pants were here and jackets all right i'm packing all my bottoms in here it always looks like you're going to have so much more space in these than you do, but then it all ends up fitting, so we'll see. Me staring at all the clothes that still somehow have to fit in my suitcase. I'm thinking about trying something very bold here. You think I could fit all my dresses in here? I don't, but we could try. <gasps> There's no way. Oh, this seemed thin, and now that I'm holding it all together, it doesn't seem thin anymore. I got all my dresses except for three of them in here and I'm deciding not to bring that even though I love that dress and it's perfect I'm already bringing two other black dresses, so it's just not necessary I grab my suitcase and I'm gonna put the packing cubes that I've already packed up in here and see how much room we have I might literally have to go buy a bigger suitcase I have a bigger suitcase that's literally like twice the size of this But that's the one that Noah's bringing and then whatever I can't fit in here. I could put in there like literally how do people do this? I, I literally don't know what to do. And it's not like I'm overpacking like crazy. You might be like Bailey, but you're putting so much in there. I think it's these sweatshirts. Like this has got to go. The sweatshirts and sweatpants. I, I actually ended up off camera. I just put like two sweatpants and two sweatshirts that I for sure want to bring in case I can't find anything. Like I just packed it up. All right, here are all of my tank tops and shirts, like short sleeve and long sleeve, minus sweaters and like jackets, which is still over there. Can go without this. That didn't work. I'm 
literally starving and my mom just texted me that my grandparents are there and she made dinner and the Packer game is about to start so I should come over there. Fully intended on finishing this tonight but guys I'm so sorry. I don't know why you guys would ever think that I could pack in one day. First of all I said I was gonna finish yesterday. That's crazy. I've made so much progress though I'm actually very happy with it and I think when I get back over to my dad's later like after I leave my mom's I'm gonna go through each packing cube and like be very picky about what I'm keeping in there. The stuff back here is stuff that I've decided not to bring except for the couple dresses back there. I'm gonna try to fit those. But tomorrow when you see me, hopefully the packing cubes will be less full and um, the clothing part of this journey will be all done. Okay guys, update time. It's the following day. It's later. I've gone to the mall. I've actually done so much today. It might not seem like a lot, but it was a lot of effort. I packed up and shipped a ton of Depop orders at the post office and I also picked up a package that has been like trying to get delivered to my house, but I haven't been here when they've been trying to deliver it so I had to go pick it up. I went to the mall and made a return and then I got two cute sweat sets at the mall like I said that I wanted to. I also got some stuff at Target for the trip. I got wet wipes to throw into my carry-on. I got another mini bottle of dry shampoo because I feel like I'm gonna need it. I use dry shampoo like literally every day. And then I'm so sad that I bought the um, Cetaphil cleanser because I found this Panoxyl one and I feel like this is gonna be like way better. I like Panoxyl. I like Cetaphil too but I like this more so whatever. I got a mini loofah. Look how cute it is. I also grabbed my mini hairbrush from my car. This has been in my car for like two years. I don't want to bring like a full size one so I'm just gonna bring this mini one. And now from Hollister I got a matching sweat set. It's these cream wide leg sweatpants. Super freaking cute. Super soft and comfy. And then a matching hoodie. I feel like this will be the perfect airport air airport outfit and then also when we have like travel days and we're taking the train to different countries and different cities this will just be like a cute cozy outfit for travel and then from garage I got another little set but I'm obsessed you guys need to run to garage because this is so freaking cute so I got this zip up hoodie they had it in this dark gray color and they also had it in cream but I found this in cream so I wanted to get the dark gray it's super soft it's like a rib material cute little zip up and then there is matching wide leg sweatpant things and this is such a cute outfit again for like travel days or if like I don't feel like getting super dressed up but still want to look put together because it's like a matching set super cute and then the best part is there was a matching shorts so like I can wear the zip up with the shorts they also had a tank top that was the same color and material and they had this full four piece set type of thing in the gray and the cream so successful run on the sweats if you guys see behind me I ended up grabbing the other suitcase Noah was gonna bring this one and I was gonna pack in my pink one but my pink one is too small and Noah has a lot less stuff than me so he's gonna pack his stuff in the pink one and I'm bringing this big one as you can see everything is pretty much in here everything that I packed up I have three packing cubes in here I have three in here I have my toiletries I have all my socks that I'm gonna shove into my boots that I pack and underneath these packing cubes in here I have a sweater I have a dress and I have one of my big black jacket things that I'm bringing I felt like it was smarter to lay those things flat versus trying to like roll them up and fit them in a packing cube uh, just because they are so like thick and bulky so we have this side tightly packed up I want to grab this one which has my sweatpants and sweatshirts in it and I'm going to pack this stuff and take out these cream sweatpants because I'm already bringing a different pair of cream ones ones that I just bought and then I'm taking this cream sweatshirt out and we're gonna wear this in the airport and I'm gonna pack up this stuff all right, I think this is everything that I'm gonna do for this video. I know I'm not completely packed up, but I need to wash my boots that I'm bringing because they're covered in mud from Lollapalooza. Sorry if this isn't satisfying because I'm not like completely done packing, but I just cannot pack my makeup up until right before I leave. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know my pack with me's are always so crazy and like chaotic and I'm a mess when it comes to packing, but I feel like it's so real because who realistically is packing all in like two hours perfectly you know some people might good for you but not me i love you guys and i will see you in the next video bye bye